Hey, this is Arjun, CEO of Doula, and in today's video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know when it comes to choosing the perfect name for your new LLC or your new US business or your new C-Corp. It doesn't matter. This video is going to break down everything you need to know to make sure you get your business name just right. And we're even going to provide a list of over 200 curated business names so you have a great starting point. First things first, don't worry, we know this is a tough situation. Picking a business name is hard. Mark Randolph, the co-creator and founder of Netflix, had the following to say. Picking a name is incredibly difficult. You need something catchy and memorable, something that rolls off the tongue. Typically, one to two syllables might be the best. If it has too many syllables and too many letters, you run the risk of people not remembering or getting it wrong. If it's too few letters and too few syllables, you run the risk of people forgetting your name. This list that we're going to provide is in no ways an exhaustive list, but we hope that the principles I'm going to run through and the list of names gives you a starting point to come up with the perfect name for your dream business. First, a few things to keep in mind before you jump straight to a business name generator. The first thing is do not use restricted words in your business name. You might think that's common sense, but the truth is we've seen this before. If you put a restricted word in your business name, it will not be approved by the state. It might be entertaining or funny to have an explicit in your LLC name, but here's the thing. It likely won't be accepted by many businesses and you're gonna face issues when submitting the name with the state. So it's best to keep the profanity at home and out of your LLC name. You should also make your name memorable. You need people to remember your name. Word of mouth is the strongest form of marketing. And if the name is catchy and memorable, there's a better shot that people will remember your business and share it with friends and colleagues and potential customers. A very basic rule of thumb is to include a basic or common word in your name, potentially with what your business does as well. A few examples, Dandelion Consulting or Rose Petal Cafe. You might have guessed what these businesses do, something related to flowers. You should also make your name meaningful. It's important you feel a connection to the name and you love it just as much as your customers do. So if you have a pet growing up that loved to chase butterflies and that name is emotional and has a connection to you, don't hesitate to put that name in your business's name. Again, the name has to be something you love and enjoy just as much as your customers do. This also makes for a fantastic backstory when you're crafting your brand's narrative and story that you'll share with customers and potential investors down the line. You should also make sure that your name is distinct. I can't tell you how many times we've seen people come up with a business name and realize that there's 10 or even 15 other competitors or alternatives with a similar name. Furthermore, if the name is too similar when you're submitting the filing with the state, the state actually won't accept the name because it's too alike to a similar business. You should also make sure to get your domain name for your business. Countless times, we've seen founders find the perfect name and then realize the domain is taken. And they then either have to go find a new name or pay exorbitant costs to buy the domain from the existing holder. Instead, what you can do is before filing your LLC, do a check to make sure the domain is available and grab it. This also has a major impact when it comes to search engine optimization, because now when people search for your business, you organically are gonna show up in Google and other search engines like Bing. Another tip is to associate your business name with your industry. Sometimes it can feel challenging to think outside the box, but maybe the answer that you're looking for is right at home. For example, if you're a security company, you might wanna come up with names that help people feel like they're protected. Here are some examples. Awesome Protections, Mr. Protection, Sun Security, Always Secure, Security Plus. I think by now you get the point. Let's use another example, pretending you're starting a bookstore. Bookstores can also follow this example. The Cozy Library, Curious Minds, The Last Chapter, The Book Barn, The Wordsmith. Again, I think you get the point. You can also make yourself a goal. Make your business name something aspirational that customers are striving to achieve. Magazines are great at this with creative business names like Glamour, Cosmopolitan, Better Homes and Gardens, Playboy, Vogue. Arguably, all of these magazines are selling what the end reader truly wants in their lives. Again, by associating yourself with a goal, 
you can establish credibility in your readers or customers' minds that they are using you to end up bettering themselves in life and achieve that end outcome. You can also go cliche. Yes, we get it. Your business is as unique as you are, but going cliche doesn't hurt. By using idioms and common phrases, you'll instantly gain some recognition from your customers. Here are some examples. When pigs fly, light as leather, bent out of shape jewelry, cup of joe, a la mode, a long shot, up in the air. Common idioms, yes, but instantly recognizable, even more. You can also make it a combo. Let's look at the example of Netflix. Net plus flicks. Going online to the net to watch movies or watch flicks. That's a fantastic combo with instant recognition of what the business truly offers. Your name combination tells people exactly what you do. But remember, the name should still be intuitive and make some sense, and it should roll off the tongue. Otherwise, again, it can become tricky for customers to remember and repeat. You can also make your business name rhyme. Rhymes are memorable. We learned them growing up in middle school. So why not make your business name rhyme too? Here are some examples of business names that rhyme. 7-Eleven, The Hobby Lobby, The Knick Knack Shack, Crunch and Munch. Rhyming is an excellent way to make yourself memorable, but try to make it somewhat related to your business. Too many times, we've seen people come up with names that rhyme and are catchy, but are too tangential from what they truly offer. Another trick is to insert the word N or R into your business name. Here are some examples of how this works. Toys are us. Babies are us. Pick and save. Shake and bake. This allows you to combine two words, add the letter N or R, and voila, you have a business name. Another tip is to use an animal and a color in combination. This is a trick that's actually been used in several industries, but it's most common in the restaurant industry. Here are some examples. The brown owl. The orange goat. Red panda. The green cat. Yellow Dog Cafe, White Dog Cafe, Purple Horse, Black Sheep, Purple Cow Grill, Pink Pig Barbecue, The Blue Pig Tavern. Animals and colors are a great way to come up with a business name. But piece of advice, keep the color simple. It's probably more recognizable to use the color white or blue versus turquoise or lavender. But hey, feel free to go for it if you think turquoise or lavender can work. Another combination that works is colors plus produce. Don't feel limited to just a color plus an animal. Here are some examples of color plus produce names. Purple corn, blue mango, red tomato, green apple, red apple, blue acorn, green tomato. Again, look to pair common colors with produce. As if the color is more common, it's more likely to be remembered and recognized by a potential customer. Does your company have a sound that can be associated with it? Then an onomatopoeia could be a perfect choice for you. Here are some examples of names like this. Pop-Tart, Roomba, Ziploc, Woosh Auto Care, Beep Beep Auto School, Click. By using a sound as your name or as part of it, you can create a business name that is memorable for years to come. Think outside the box as well. This is a bigger risk. But hey, sometimes in life you have to think outside the box and take a little bit of a risk or a lot of risk. Sometimes a combination that actually works is picking a name that is not typically associated with your industry. Here are some examples. Sound for a business consulting company. Purple Mango for a skincare company. Zebra for a car insurance company. Arctic Wolf for a cybersecurity company. Unchained Carrot for a marketing company. However, for these types of names to work, you need to make sure that you have a rock solid marketing plan in place to create association between your business name and what you actually do. If you don't have the time or resources to invest in this from the get go, I'd recommend going with this type of business name plan idea. If you don't have the resources or time available to dedicate to a marketing plan at this point, I wouldn't stray too far outside the box when coming up with a business name. Otherwise, you'll struggle to create the association between what your business does and what the name is. You can also base your business name off your favorite song or movies. Here are some examples. Indiana Bones in the Temple of Groot. The Codfather for a fish business. 99 Problems. Jaws. Satisfaction. The Brutal Lancers. Weed Man Locker. The main thing to remember here is that you can get in trouble for copyright infringement or trademark infringement if your name is too close to the original. So be careful, play it a little safe, 
but this can always be a fun way to name your business. You can also share your values in your business name. This strategy is very simple. By naming your business after your values and what you aspire to give to your customers, they can instantly recognize the connection. Here are some of my favorite names that take this strategy into play. Ace Care, Five Star Senior Living, Easy Eyes, Bottom Line Tax Services, Kindness Animal Hospital. All of these names are both easy to remember and easy to say. So take a look at your business's values and see if there's a way to incorporate that into your business name. You can also use people words in your business's name. This allows people to automatically create that human connection and it can sometimes be a bit more authentic and playful in terms of a way to connect with customers. Here are some examples. Five Guys, David's Bridal, Sister's Restaurant, College Hunks Hauling Junk, The Moving Guys, The Coffee Girl, The Wine Guys, Tree Fellas, The Building People. These catchy business names are an excellent way to connect with customers and also show people what you're offering at the same time. You can also use an oxymoron. Who hasn't had a good chuckle when you find out someone has a pet alligator named Chihuahua? Here are some oxymoron names that can work for your business that are also memorable. Tiny Rebellion, Small Giants, Slow Food, Harmony Warrior. The main thing I would recommend when using this strategy is making sure that the name is related to what you're doing. You wouldn't want to just choose a name because of an internet meme. You'd want to make sure that it's somewhat connected to your business. And with that, here is the list of 200 plus business names that can serve as a start point or launching pad for you in coming up with the perfect name for your dream business. Finding a brandable business name can be challenging, but it's also a ton of fun. I hope this video really helped you understand the different tactics, tools, and tricks you can use when coming up with a perfect business name. And if you're ready to take that dream idea and turn it into your dream US business, you know what to do. Pick that perfect name that you've now come up with, hit up doula.com, and we'll help you take that dream idea and start your dream US business today. Thanks so much for watching.